Hello everyone. Today I want to share with you something different but equally fun. So today let's take a break from all the Excel tricks that I've been posting for a while. What I want to show you today is really how to use Word Cloud to improve the quality of your resume so that they can stand out more in the competitors in your job search. So if this is a topic of your interest, please continue to watch, and I'm gonna share with you the three tips that I have found out from this、uh, Word Cloud. So to start with, this video idea was inspired by some of my young friends who came to me asking for advice on job hunt and also asked me to critique their resume. So as an HR professional who have been in the field for over ten years, this is something I have been doing a lot for my friends, which I really enjoy, and. Therefore, I have seen thousands of resumes like the ones you see on the screen. So this time, I was thinking,、um, is there a better way that I can do it more fun, more authentic, and even more effective, rather than looking at all those resumes and all those words? And here is the idea that I came up with. So the idea I came up with is the word cloud. So, for someone who's not familiar with the concept of Word Cloud, it is essentially something like this. It's an aggregation of all kinds of related words. So, as you see, this is actually the sample Word Cloud for job search. So, my idea is, if I can do this kind of Word Cloud for any kind of other things, why can't I do it for my resume? So, without further ado, I took action. I took out my own resume, and just for your information, for anyone's resume who actually ever got a chance to get in front of the recruiters, you only have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, pass. If within that much time you don't get their attention, you are passed. So how do I know if my resume is competitive? I used a tool called Tag Crowd. This is one of those free generator for ta-、uh, for the Word Cloud for any kind of tags. So what I did was simply copy my resume, paste it into tags. I could have chosen a、uh, hundred words or more, but then I'm just choosing five uh fifty for now, and I visualize my resume. See, this is what happens. This is a word cloud that's actually generated from my resume, and also to be fair, I also used some other kind of、uh, free word cloud generation a generator tool online. I got pretty much the same kind of uh, keyword uh, cloud. So、um, you, it's safe to use just any one of those tools to test the quality for your resume. So as you can see from my resume, my biggest keyword is compensation.、Um, this is. Actually, exactly the kind of keyword that I want the recruiters to see. Because if you are not quite familiar with the human resource industry, this is actually、uh, a specialty that I uh, where uh, I do compensation consulting for. So compensation and then salary, incentive, rewards. Those are the kind of related keywords that I want the recruiters to see. So I think in this regard, I'm doing well for my resume. However, what surprises me a little bit was that I thought in my resume I have presented a pretty good competency for Excel skills, analytical skills. However, it surprised me that I didn't even see Excel or analytical here, which I guess it means I didn't emphasize that enough in my resume. So this is definitely a weakness that I could have proved, so that when the recruiters see my resume in those five seconds, they can understand. Okay, this person has good Excel skills, has strong analytical skills that they can utilize. Okay, so now after auditing my own resume, I'm gonna give you a really fun case study to test this word cloud technique. So let's. Put on the hat of a recruiter. Just imagine you are a recruiter hiring for an entry-level HR analyst right now. Just intuitively think about what kind of skills are you looking for? What kind of keywords are you looking for on those resumes? For a moment. 
And then I'm gonna give you three resumes. And of course, I'm not gonna share with you the resumes, but I'm gonna show you the word cloud for those three resumes. And you can tell me what you think of those three candidates and who do you think are better than the others. So are you ready? Let's start. So this is the word cloud for the first candidate. So you see the biggest keyword here is international knowledge. It looks like this person working in a bank has experience with capital, credit, uh, money transfer. Uh, however, I'm looking for an HR analyst. I don't see any keywords related to HR here. So as a human resources professional, um, this is probably not a relevant resume for me. And honestly, for my recruiter friends, I think that they can pass this resume in three seconds. If I were this candidate, and um, I would definitely improve uh, my resume with more related uh, keywords to human resources, and that can make my resume look more relevant and stand out more. Okay, so now, now let's look at the second one. So at a glance, I think this resume looks more relevant. It does show compensation, Excel, data, uh, management. I don't see, well, okay, so now I see human resources, but it's not uh, quite relevant. Uh, it, it, it's not standing out. Um, and I think this is probably someone very junior uh, who has some kind of analytical skills, which is good, which is what I value as um, human resource and analyst. But I think I would like to see more keywords of like related to human resources, like management, like human resource programs, those kind of keywords. Another area for improvement for this word cloud is that I think a lot of irrelevant keywords stand out too much, like department, economics. You see like how big those words are, but they're actually not quite related to the kind of uh, resume that I'm looking for. So um, this person can probably go back to their resume, um, look to try to find ways to minimize those keywords and try to make HR related keywords stand out even more. But in general, I think this is not okay. This is definitely on a, re uh, uh, a resume that's on the right track. Okay, so now let's look at the third one to see if there's any difference. Okay, so the first impression I have is that this person seems to have really relevant um, keywords really standing out. You see, the I like the compensation. I like the human, employee, management, salary. I like those keywords. And what's even better, they're standing out. They're standing out versus the keywords that's not as relevant. Even for the hate. Um, keyword. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, human resource fields, you probably wouldn't know. But then he, he Group is actually a very top-notch consulting firm that invented um, Hey Group, uh, Hey Job Evaluation Method that is pretty much an in, uh, industry standard, uh, standard global-wide. So if I see a Hey keyword here as an insider, I would know this person know about Hey and this person, which means that this person should have some in-depth knowledge of the industry. So honestly, um, amongst those three uh, word cloud or resume or candidate that I just showed you, uh, I think this one is the best. Um, and um, I hope that you feel the same, or you can challenge me in the comments if you have different opinions. But I think the idea here that I'm trying to emphasize for you is make sure your keywords stand out in, the, in your resume. And if you're not quite sure, test it out. Test it out in um, the free sites that I referred. Um, and if you don't see the keywords that you, uh, you desire to see, go back to revise and test it again. Uh, this is going to be uh, iterative, but then trust me, the time you invest in this is going to pay off when you have those five seconds in front of the recruiters. Okay, so now you have optimized your resume using the tool of the word cloud. What's next? My second advice for you is to match your keywords with the keywords in the job description. And I'm going to show you here what I mean. So 
when you apply for a job, you would always see a job description online, which is a whole bunch of text. And、um, usually, the traditional HR way would tell you, okay, find the keywords in it and make sure your resume has it. Well, I'm gonna actually show you how we can do this with Work Cloud. So, you see here this,、um, in the notepad, this is an actual、um, job description that I took from.、Uh, Job on the website. I just omitted the company name. I just copy it, paste it into the Word cloud, and visualize to see what the keyword is instead of going line by line to find it. Here we go. So the Word cloud automatically showed us all the keywords that we need to know. And just be mindful, all those keywords, those are the keywords that recruiters are looking for on your resume. So what does it say? So for this specific HR analyst job, it look for reporting skills. So probably that means the job needs to do all kind, like a lot of reports. Maybe Excel reports, maybe Word reports, maybe reports on different HR programs, maybe reports on PowerPoints, presentations, all kinds. Um, it also looks like this job requires analytical skills, some kind of data familiarity with data. Would be working on programs and projects. So this is a really valuable information if this is your dream job because you need to make sure all those keywords, all those words, big enough for you to see, should be somewhere in your resume. And just mind you, the challenge here is that. You can't just plug in a keyword randomly anywhere. You actually need to consolidate that into a meaningful sentence、um, that tells us what you do. So, with this kind of、uh, job description, actually, what's in、uh, interesting for me is that is that remember we have those three candidates. Let's go back to their word cloud and to see how aligned their word cloud is to、uh, this specific job. So let's look at the first one.、Uh, the first person you see, I do not see reports there. So honestly, I think that's a pass. The second person,、um, oh, the good news is that I do see the word report.、Um, it is not the biggest keywords, but it is somewhere there. And I also like that this person has data, has anal analysis.、Um, Which is great because it really aligns with the requirement for this job. So even that, as I just mentioned, I think this person has a lot of irrelevant keywords and it doesn't have enough human resources flavor to it. I think this is still someone that I would go back to the resume, read it more carefully, and as a recruiter, I may give this person a phone interview just to test out what kind of reporting experience that person has,、um, just to see what kind of experience that person is, to see if that person is qualified for the next step interviews. Okay, so for next person, so as I said, this person already seems to be a quite competitive person. It does have Excel skills. It has management.、Um, it doesn't have the kind of reports. To be fair,、um, it doesn't have data. To be fair, but then. Because of all those relevant keywords, I think this is also definitely someone that I would give a phone interview. And、uh, likely, if that person shows that、uh, they have the desired reporting skills and Excel、um, data analytical skills and program and project management skills, I would likely, very likely, to invite him or her to the face-to-face -face interview. So. Just as a recap, the second step is to match the keywords on your resume to the job description. And if you don't have those keywords, make sure you go back to revise it so that you have those keywords. Okay, so now I hope that you have a really good word cloud for your resume, and you're able to match your resume really well with the keywords in the job description. What's next? Does that mean that I'm gonna get my dream job that I want? Well, now comes to my third and last advice for you, which is understand that humans are not predictable. So the thing about human resources and about all humans is that it is an art, not a science. Even if you have the perfect work cloud for the perfect job,、uh, it still does not guarantee that you can get this job. And sometimes you might not have the perfect.、Uh, Resume or anything, but you still get the job you want.、Um, 
and that can be because of many factors based on my past experience. It can be because that you just happen to work in a direct competitor's company that they're really interested in, or it can be just because you have a really specific language skill or any kind of skills that they couldn't find elsewhere, but it's really critical for this job. Or it can just be that you happen to work with someone they know, and they found that out on LinkedIn, and they get really good reference from that person. All those things are not going to be reflected in the word cloud, but th- all those things can be a critical factor to determine whether you get this job or not. So my best advice for you is to try your best, and remember that the job offer. Is beyond the control, and after you try your best, just keep calm and move on. Even if you failed to get your dream job, I believe that the failure experience will make you a better person, regardless of whether that failure was due to your own efforts or not, or something that's totally beyond the control. So I have an advice that I always tell myself when I was looking for a job. And I want to share that with you as the ending of the video, which is, if you don't get a job you want, you will get a better one. If you do not give up. As a recap, today I shared with you three points where you can use Word Cloud to make your resume more competitive and stand out in front of the recruiters. The first point is to make your resume keywords stand out. Second. Match your keywords with the job description's keywords. Third, understand that humans are not predictable, so try your best and move on after. If you find this video helpful, please help you like it and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or any comments, please let me know as well. Thank you for watching, and you have a nice day.